This is a triple battle. And hot take, I think it's one of the best ways to play Pokemon. And to show why I think this, I'm doing a hardcore Nuzlocke where every single trainer battle is replaced with a triple battle. Displaying all the cool and weird mechanics in this game that you probably didn't even know existed. And on top of everything, I provided a 200 slide PowerPoint on why I think triple battles are cool. So with all that out of the way, let's go see what our starters are. What the? What? So in order to make things a little bit simpler, I decided to randomize this. Not usually my cup of tea, but I didn't want the guy making the ROM to have to make a custom team for every single trainer. So at this point, you probably do so I'm picking. Oh, 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 oh. Everyone welcome Rihanna to the team. Now Clash, this is a triple battle run, so therefore we need to get two more encounters. And lucky for us, in the first part of the game, there are three that we can get right off the bat. But that's fine, we'll get through it, we'll get through it, we'll get through it. Doduo! So we capture Bay twice to Doduo, and then we immediately hit up Route 20 to find the third member to our team. Bro, I love this mod! Everybody welcome Future the Porygon Z. We did a little bit of a nickname theme with our team. You probably guess right now it is Renaissance Artists. And finally, we make our way up to Flossessi Ranch to get our final encounter before the first gym. No, come on, dude. This is the best encounter we get in the entire run. I'm not even joking, that's real. This mom gave me a kidney. I, I fucking love this fish. But at this point in the run, we don't know that he's our savior, so we named the Vanilla Ice, because, you know. Give me uh, the most irrelevant uh, artist ever. And now with our squad of four assembled, we are able to take on our first triple battle and our rival battle against Michael. I think it's Michael, because that's the guy that made the bod. There he is. He goes by Fireworks too. He's pretty cool. All right, chat. This fight's looking like a real doozy. I gotta activate triple Don mode and put on all my glass. Now let's break this battle down real quick. Triple battles are different from doubles and singles because they include a little thing called spatial awareness. If I'm bait twice, I can only attack Dustox and Cricket too. Only on that side. The mod in the middle can be targeted by everyone, but they can also target everybody bro bay twice kind of goes on this entire fight which already adds a layer of death it's like you took a simple game like pokemon and turned into freaking fire emblem it's nuts and another thing that's very different about triple battles is stat lowering moves like growl leer and tail whip are much more useful you see in triple battles they hit multiple targets so if you use in the mod in the center it hits all three you get way more bang for your buck all right dust box is minus one defense this should kill you're dead you're dead how are you not dead? It's already cool, because if this was a single battle, I'd just be clicking the scratch button. And that's lame. I'd rather whip some tails. Did not kill. That is so unfortunate. Kill this, please. That did not kill. That is so unfortunate. He growls. The amount of unfortunate happenings is astronomical. Rihanna's at half. That should be okay. They gust my Riri. -ri. That's oh so not okay. What the fuck, dude? Right, I'm going to shift bait twice to the middle. You see this button right there? It says shift. And that one says peck. Now the shift button is another new addition to triple battles. Only the mons on the left and the right wing can do it, but allows them to change spots with the mon in the center. I don't like that. Mistakes were made today, Chad. I don't, I don't, I don't want to alarm you, but the mistakes were actually made today. We're gonna scratch Cricketune and hope this ends the battle. This should take end the battle. That's fine, Adam, that's fine. Wait, did Scratch do that little to Cricketune? Oh, fuck. Vanilla Ice, you got outspeed. Vanilla Ice, please, please. You gotta take him out, you gotta take him out, you gotta take him out, you gotta take him out. Oh, you fool, you idiot, Michael. I am one step ahead of you. And thanks to Michael's brain-dead AI, we managed to take him out easily without losing a single mod. Wow, we did it. T take that, Michael. You, you, you. So now that you guys have passed your first lesson in the art of triple battling, why don't we mosey on over to the first gym and learn why Vanilla Ice is actually our messiah. It's time to take on Sharon himself, the virginity thief. Pokemon Masters is a crazy game, huh? No way, he's got off. Oh my god! This is the best day of my life. Storm Drain about to go crazy right now. You see this? This right here? Everything. Everything. Everything you knew before, forget it. This is what you know now. That's one Storm Drain, baby. I always knew Storm Drain was pretty good. You get an extra immunity to water, and if you get hit by a water type attack, it raises your special attack by one stage. Water Gun Nail King out of the game. But the way it works in double battles, and more importantly, triple battles, is that if, say, Manaphy goes for a water type attack on Nidal Queen, this might be a deathless first gem. This might be a deathless first gym. It actually gets absorbed by Finneon and gives him the plus one special attack boost. Storm Drain Luminion is that bitch. And he's coming. The legend, the prophecy, making the whole team immune. Which is like you did. <laughs> That's so good. There's another one of these dickheads. Come on, bro. Now I know why they call frustration. The plus two water gun that does absolutely nothing. Confusion on who? Oh, that's stab. 
<laughs> Yo, whose man is this? So with Vanilla Ice roided out from Storm Drain and Sharon's Mon doing like no damage to us, we can wrap up the fight, thus confirming our first gym badge. <gasps> I'm making it to the league! And we're done with the first gym. We can get more encounters, explore the world, and explore the world we shall. We head east to Verbank City and then go to the Verbank Complex to get our next encounter. Another normal type. That's so exhilarating. We already have two normal types, but hey. I'll make it work. And in doing so, Dolly Parton is added to the team. Now, it is another normal type. In any Nuzlocke, you want to have good type diversity. But I'd still argue this is a phenomenal encounter because it gets fake out. Let's give a warm welcome to Miss Dolly Parton. This is our first time hitting the triple battle scene. And you know what? Something's telling me. Something's telling little old me that she's about to put in that sweet, sweet work right now. The fake out's like a really good support move. I don't know if you can do that. You can only use it right when the Pokemon's sent out. But you can pick a target, make them flinch, and it always has top priority. I'm going to fake out the Chinchino because that thing can do damage. So basically, you're taking one mon of your choice at the beginning of a battle and being like, hey! Stop! Alright, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan, here's the plan. We're gonna switch out Bay twice into future, and then Rihanna should kill Hitmonlee. That's looking like, that's looking like the strat right now. Goes for Tail Slap, that should be okay. That is so much. Stop. Stop! Why are you doing this to me? Return! Show him your mic! Kill, kill. Oh, that's what's up, baby. So let's talk more about shifting. It sucks, asshole. You will shift to the middle because you could probably take... No! Wait! No! No! In regular single battles, when you switch out a Pokemon, it will always go first, no matter what. However, in triple battles, shifting depends on the Pokemon speed stat. Chinchino goes first. Chinchino goes first. And because I initially thought that I could shift out future before the tail slap hit, he paid the price. He was adaptability. He was supposed to change the world. I would play a future song right now, but that, you know, I'm not trying to lose everything. And you know, now we know. I will definitely not make that mistake another time. I also drew my teaching degree using magic marker. So with the loss of future boiling our blood, we decided to take our frustration on Roxy, the second gym leader. Roxy, you got some moxie. I respect it. I respect it. But you're, you're, you know what? Let's hope what she lacks in talent, she makes up for in battle. Some tell me it's not going to be the case. Okay. One of these things is not like the other, Roxy. That CDOS looking very powerful. I've trained my entire life for this moment. Fake out goes off. It's no inner focus. That does insane damage. Way to fake him out. And this should kill. Little does she know. She thinks she's good with her, like, punk rock career. She doesn't know I'm the Don. She's about to learn the hard way. I'm about to sauce her up with Dolly Parton. Finally, a worthy opponent. Yes. Double return on Quagsire. And then the Gust from Vanilla Ice. Now, something very interesting just happened. Vanilla Ice used Gust. But in all seriousness, Vanilla Ice used Gust into Quagsire, which normal moves wouldn't be able to do that across the court. Which teaches us another very valuable lesson about the format. Flying type moves can hit from anywhere, regardless of what spot they're in. Alright, we use Return. That should kill. Thank you. Goodbye, birdie. Boom! Killed two birds with one Rihanna. Let's go, baby. The triple battle. God, two badges. And hella veggies. And after that, we spent a little bit more time goofing around this part of the map, which I'm pretty sure is supposed to represent New Jersey. Or is that supposed to be New Jersey? It kind of looks like Jersey, but geographically. We go to Pokestar Studios, which everyone loves that feature. A child actor? Yeah, that's a good look. That always ends well, bro. Take out some plasma grounds, talk to the captain, my goat. My cum explodes. I'm a great character. <laughs> and then we're able to hit the seven seas to go off to the big city. I guess that place is Jersey, huh? You smell that? It's the smell of opportunity, hot dog vendors, and more encounters, baby. Right off the bat, we get four new encounters. I know there's three listed here, but I forgot about a special one. And we're able to go around and find some really good items, including the Eviolite. Let's go! Big Eviolite moment, Chet! It's an item that buffs the defense and special defense of unevolved Pokemon by one stage. And if we give it to a mon like Vanilla Ice, we will keep them alive forever. I promise you. So after getting the Eviolite, we go up north to Route 4 to get our next encounter. Me and this Pokemon have not had the nicest relationship. I'm just gonna make one case. Hear me out. Motherfuckers be saying Typhlosion is cool. This your goat? This is your favorite starter? Let me know. What's an artist that like stole someone's flow bar for bar type of shit? Cause that's what that's what Typhlosion did to Charizard. So we add new Eminem to the team. He doesn't really add much in terms of triple battles. He might later on, but we'll see about that. Grind him up to Aquilava and give him his first taste of the triple battle world. Oh my God. Yo, wait, Lumineon's saving us high key. We're gonna shift Finneon to the middle. That way Eminem doesn't get hit by Bubble Beam. Okay. No duo goes for a quick attack on Rihanna. Fine. 
Remember that one time I talked about my degree being in magic marker? <laughs> I lied, it's actually in yellow highlighter. You can't even freaking read it. On top of reinforcing how shift mechanics work, we also learn a very powerful lesson. Not only do moves rely on spatial awareness, but certain abilities do as well. And because Vanilla Ice is on the right side of the field, New Eminem is on the left side of the field, Storm Drain's range couldn't protect him from Keldeo's bubble beam. And thus, New Eminem had to pay the price. We just grinded him up, man! Oh no, no more mids gonna be dropped. This your goat? This is still your goat. But all of it was worth it. We learned a powerful lesson. On top of that, Vanilla Ice learned Water Pulse. This guy's full of surprises. Water Pulse, that's huge. Water Pulse can hit from any part of the map. Aura moves and pulse moves, all of them being listed right here in Generation 5, can hit from anywhere on the map on top of flying type moves. We'll make it out just fine. No one's dying. No one's dying. So worthy enough, Water Pulse is a move with enough merit to be carried into the late game. This mon is the gift that keeps on giving. Following New Eminem's death, we go down into Castellia Sewers, which opens up three more new encounters. We have Relic Passage, the, the Garden Place, and the Sewers itself. However, we can't get a sewer encounter just yet because Michael's tagging along. Fuck. Michael. And because he's AI following along with us, I don't want to get an encounter while he's with us because he could mess everything up. We get through Castellia Sores with Michael by our side and we encounter two Team Galactic grunts. Galactic, Plasma. Team Plasma grunts. I get them mixed up all the time. One's got bull cuts, one's a political party. And we have to engage in a double battle. Oh, but they have six mons. Michael, help me! And I'm gonna skip it because double battles are so freaking lame. Like, who plays double battles? Like, what? That'll never catch on. After that nonsense, we finally get our first Castellia Sewer encounter. <laughs> that would look lovely in our box. And then following that, we go into Relic Passage to get our next encounter. Something sauce! Now this is massive. In any other context, Manetric's very mid. But in triple battles, is Lightning Rod his main ability or his hidden ability? He's cool. He's epic. He's a little doggo heckin' heckin' chonker. And he has a 50-50% chance of having Lightning Rod as his ability, which is the electric type version of Storm Drain. If this thing is Lightning Rod, that is huge. That is massive. Especially when you consider that only four evolutionary lines in the entire game can get that naturally. This is a pretty big... Did you know that static outside of battle draws in more electric type encounters? That's, that's pretty good. Now this is cool. I don't even want to die right now. Like, this is really- And then finally we go up to Liberty Garden. Is that even what it's called? Am I just making that up? We go on a little patch of grass in Castellia City and we find our final encounter for the area. Young Hova, you heard? Let me hear you say Hova. Hova! Young Memo? The goat? Quit playing with me. That's a fantastic mod. Yo, and that pairs well with the Storm Drain. But on top of that, he has some pretty cool triple battle utilities. He gets the move Icy Wind, a move that is great for support. Icy Wind, while being a special attack, which is not really Mammoth Swine or Pillow Swine's thing, can lower the speed of all opposing Pokemon that it hits, which can be really nice for damage control. And he's married to Beyonce, not to get confused with Bay Twice, which is Beyonce with two heads. And with the team looking fresh to death, let's go take on the next gym and test out our new boys. Arrogant Berg, the most arrogant trainer in all the land okay <laughs> hey kirim all right first off let's get rid of this little bird here hit the return real quick on spiro get that fucking thing out of here this is something that i kind of regret doing get that piece of shit bird out of my face i think keeping the spiro alive would have been in our best interest because it's a useless mod ice beam all right we resist we resist that's still like and therefore we could take advantage of it being there by taking out the other stronger guys before we take out that one crobius avoids the attack that is just mean, and we definitely pay the price for that play. Bird! Bro, look at this man's team! He sends out this, this fake pu Meloet pu Pirouette. Who? Vanilla Ice is looking so chipped down in this moment, I decided to switch him out into Kendrick. If anything happens to Kendrick, I mean, that's tough, but... But once Ice Wind goes off, he does go for quick attack. Wing attack, okay. That does not that much. Static! They call him King Kendrick Lamar. Acrobatics. Okay! Okay! We made a phenomenal switch, baby! And it hopes to preserve Kendra. We go on a Dolly Parton, and we were able to take out the Crobat using Ice Fang on Hova. Are you doing? I have several questions! Acro. Oh, 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 what? Every Nuzlocker knows, regardless of what type you're doing, is that you can't save everybody, and sometimes you have to make those tough decisions. I think I sat Kendrick here. I don't think Kendrick's that good. I, I don't think he's like that. And Kendrick does not survive. 
at all. He's so dead. Dead dog alert. Wee wee. And an attempt to finally take out that Kyurem because that thing's a menace. We go on the bait twice and hit it with a stab return. Okay, that's gonna kill. No doubt in my mind. Kyurem's down. Big Kyurem's gone. Air cutter. It hits everybody because of fucking course it does. Acrobatics. It go. No! Bait twice! No! The rest of the battle is pretty wrapped up here. We use enough icy winds with Hova to have good speed control and we're able to take out these two fairly easily. That's okay. It's sad, but it's okay. But Bay Twice was the first encounter that we actually had some experience with and actually had a niche in triple battles. I think we win here though. Jesus, I, it, it's always Berg. It's always Berg. So this was the first death that kind of meant something. Great, we got the fucking bitch badge. Like, did you even remember Future existed? Oh, we got Struggle Bug. How poetic. Did you? If you were to label your sex life using a Pokemon move, what would it be? Mine? Probably Struggle Bug. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest sometimes, you know? So now, following the death of our two teammates, we go on to Route 4, where we have three more encounters available to us. While exploring the route, we battle some trainers with some fun little mishaps and shenanigans ensuing. If I can prove that I never touched my balls. Until we finally reach our next encounter, which is very interesting. This is Mandibuzz. It's a Pokemon. All right, there's our Mandibuzz encounter looking looking kind of nice. In black and white too, depending on what version you're playing, either Mandibuzz or Braviary can spawn with their hidden ability on Wednesdays and Fridays, Saturday, I don't know. Hidden abilities were introduced in Generation 5 and some of them are crazy. The potential is endless. I'm talking we can get Regenerator, Slowbro, Sheer Force, Feraligator, even a Mon like Plusle gets Lightning Rod, so it's value skyrockets. Heracross? Heracross? Now, don't get me wrong. Scizor is a phenomenal encounter. He's got good stats, a phenomenal typing, which in Generation 5, like, resists everything. And he's Frank Sinatra, so, like, Italian dads love him. But, like, this is the one mon where their hidden ability is significantly worse than either. This is a mon that likes to rock technician, but instead we got light metal. Those, those pesky low kicks. But, hey! We still take those. We still take those. Following that special alone counter, we get two more in the Desert Resort and the, the Relic Castle. Oh boy, let's see what cool stuff we get in Desert Resort. Come on, come on, give me some day. Oh! <gasps> oh! This shit's so fucking a That was a mistake. Oh, wow! I hope that doesn't bite us in the air. Whatever, we shake it off and then move on to our next encounter in Relic Castle. Okay, I mean... Okay. I gotta be honest, I have a soft spot for this mod. Before this YouTube channel, I had one where I did video essays, and I did one on why Voltorb has a good design. Now that channel's dead, don't ask for it to be revived, please. You know what? He'll do a great job replacing Kendrick on the team. I can work with his, bro. We we have a we have a special bond, me and this guy. Welcome Pitbull, Mr. Worldwide. And I kind of like him in triple battles. He's a super fast support mod, rocking moves like Light Screen and Charge Beam. And he looks like my friend Brooks, who also looks like Pitbull, who looks like Electrode, who looks like my friend Brooks, who also But on top of getting two more members of the team, something extremely important happens here at the resort. Would you look at that? Would you look at the clock, Chad? Oh shit, it looks like it's time. But but da 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 ba ba our god King Vanilla Ice has reached his peak form. Yes! Yes! And we make our way through Joint Avenue enjoying the jams before we get to Nimbasa City. Nimbasa, 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 baby, Nimbasa, baby. There's a lot to do once we reach Nimbasa. We can get a lot of encounters, we can go fight the gym, or we can prevent Ingo from going back in time and telling him that, hey, maybe you shouldn't do that. So naturally, we head west to Route 5, where we can get a special encounter. Oh my god, it's always something! You see, Black and White 2, I think this is in Black and White 2 only, there's special little things called Hidden Grottos, which we opt to go for instead of our Route 5 encounter. Why? Because the Pokemon that can spawn there have hidden abilities. Nah, this ain't real, though. This ain't real, dog. All right, here's our hidden powers, our hidden ability, Skarmory. Great Pokemon, but hidden abilities, weak armor, which is like kind of iffy. I'm not gonna lie. It's the same. It's the same beat as Frank Sinatra. It's a phenomenal Mon. Weak armor. Fuck off. I'd rather have a regular ability. But we catch him and name him Ed Helms. I think it's because someone in chat named him that. And he's going to go in the box for now because I'm liking the squad that we have. So we go back to Nimbasa and meet up with Nate, the male player character for this game, which I think this is like the only place where he appears, which is kind of weird. And we have to do another double battle against Ingo and Inbred. Double battle is my favorite. Now, normally I would skip this double battle because double battles are disgusting. Even watching one can give you gonorrhea. But something important happens during this one. And at least... You're probably wondering to yourself how I ate this much ass, so let's take this fight back to where it went wrong. What the, what the fucking, 
okay, that's fine. That's fine. We will pull through because I am the god. Oh, yeah. Good, good job, Nate. You're really pulled up to the function. Nate's giving it his college try. Oh, darn. Oh, Nate, you're just killing it, dog. And, and now Nate's out of Pokemon. So now it's just a 2v1. So we kill the god of space because Sinatra's just like that. And then comes in this rat. And I'm thinking of switching here because Sinatra's in range of an attack from Flygon plus Chinchino. Trust me, I know what this Mon can do. Stop. Stop! Young Hova, be our savior. But turns out it didn't matter too much because they went for friggin' Bide and Helping Hand. Bide's like negative priority, so we're fine, right? And it turns out Bide doesn't actually have negative priority. Icy Wind does not kill the Flygon, and that's how our team now has one less Jay-Z on it. And this is the first instance where I really reflected on how the primary cause of any death in any Nuzlocke, regardless of type, it's still carelessness. All it took was one Google search to recognize what Bide's attributes were. Or I could have just went for Ice Fang. That Nate kid, I'm not talking to him ever again. I, I feel like I should have just Ice Fang there. I was watching that back and I was like, why didn't I Ice Fang? <laughs> Hova! But do you know what helps me get through the grieving process a lot easier? Eating some yummy food. And eating and preparing some yummy meals has never been easier thanks to today's sponsor, HelloFresh. So why? Why them? What does HelloFresh have? Their menu's got like over 45 different dinner options on it that will support any healthy lifestyle. And you will not be disappointed. Unlike how I'm disappointed that I have to add Ed Helms to the team now that Hope is dead. And HelloFresh is so easy to use, a friggin' double battler could do it. They give you those quick and convenient recipes delivered right to your door. Right there! How do they know where you live? All you gotta do is go on their website, choose a recipe, and pick a delivery date. Bada bing, bada food! They handle the meal planning and the shopping, you handle the cooking and the box opening, bro. Now if only HelloFresh will grind up Ed Helms for me because this is so boring. My family actually used HelloFresh when I lived back in Jersey. And because of it, we got takeout a lot less, which is probably why I look a lot thinner back then. <laughs> My mom was in charge of cooking, I was in charge of ripping open the box. And get this, get this, they're trying to start your new year off right with some free breakfast. When you join HelloFresh, you'll get a free breakfast for life while your subscription is active. Now, Hova can't get it because he's dead, but you can. You're alive. I'm talking one delicious spanking breakfast item in your big green HelloFresh box forever. Click the link in the description or use my code and get free breakfast for life. One breakfast item per box while subscription is active. Thank you, HelloFresh, for sponsoring today's video. And now, let's go fight Aliza with Ed Helms. That happened during the sponsorship, but you missed it. <sighs> Aliza time, baby. Let's get it. I fuck with the jacket and it's gone. Okay. She's got Sussy Baka, Hariyama. We're finally able to see a lot of strategies take place here. Fake out from Dolly Parton into Hariyama just to make sure no crazy shenanigans ensue. And then Tail Whip comes back out, baby! You thought it was over. We need Hariyama out of here. That force bomb is deadly. Gets the para that is so, so unfortunate. Oh! Ooh, oh my god, oh my god! So I switch out Pitbull because I don't want him dying, and then we keep on attacking with our other two mons in the field. Body slam here. It did not kill. Hariyama lives on one, and of course, on his last breath, what are you gonna do? This force palm's insane. However, things don't look too bad as we do manage to kill a Moongus using Fury Cutter. Oh my god! The goat. And we think we're in a great position until a big threat comes out. That's what I'm talking about, chat! Now, what's really unfortunate about everything that's happening right now is, um... The fact that everything's happening right now. We're doing something crazy here. And then on Rihanna's turn, I'm shifting. Hopefully this plays out. We get Dolly Parton in because that's the last mom that's not crippled and dying. And then we switch Rihanna to the middle to eat any hits coming from Hariyama. All right, the play is working. She's able to eat the hits from the opposing side. The vibes are immaculate, chat. Holy shizay. She's eating everything, baby. <laughs> I've activated my dawn mode. And with Stab Fly killing Hariyama. So that's what I'm talking about, baby. And because Salamence has no other good moves left to use, I'm pretty sure it's level up moveset gives him like Ember at this point, and that's it. We're able to clean up this gym fight and claim our fourth gym badge. Like, no deaths? Come on, bro. Come on, bro. I'm the teacher. You should be writing all this down, bro. Test question number one. Who to go? The dog. Now we walk the runway, baby. Oh, pose for them. Oh. And now that we killed Eliza, that foul wench, we're leaving New York City and going into Encounter City. First off, we go to the right of Nimbasa to route whatever, and we find our next guy. We take those. We take those, bro. I'm taking off Ed Helms. I'm sorry, and I'm replacing it with Green Day, the Lilligan. This is our stally heel setup idiot. Sleep powder and a quiver dance? Come on, bro. Do I wish it was Hisuian? But hey, I'm not mad. I take these. Outside of Route Whatever, we go into Forest Whatever, which is north of Route Whatever, and we find our next encounter. Something juicy, baby. Something juicy. <laughs> We were just talking about you, dog. That's crazy. Depending on who you ask, Vileplume is better than Lilikin, but Vileplume's level up moveset is Garbaggio. I feel like Vileplume is an Italian Pokemon. So in the box, look how comfy he is. 
Look at Joe Pesci. Do I have any ways to support this claim? No. But sometimes a vibe's a vibe chat, and you simply have to respect that. Now, after this point, we go back to Nimbasa and head west to get more encounters. But something very important happens. I accidentally deleted my save file, chat. Can you imagine? Can you imagine the horror? The absolute dismay. I actually don't have a teaching degree at all. I was lying before. But this was a blessing in disguise, because something really important happens. Vanilla Ice changes to Brendan Fraser. A man that was blacklisted because of horrible circumstances has now resurged into the limelight and finally got an Oscar, which I feel like is very poetic and, you know, symbolizes the deep connection. I just, I just wanted to get rid of Vanilla Ice. I just wanted, Vanilla Ice was not it. This is Brendan Fraser now. Following that super epic and important evolution, we head to Driftvale Bridge to find another encounter under the feather falling spots. All right, Driftvale Bridge encounter. Oh! Yo, look at this boy's sprite, bro. <laughs> what celebrity? Who's Big Munchlachilon? I'm just gonna look up fat celebrities. No way Amy Schumer is the first thing that comes up. That's fucking crazy. We get Biggie Smalls the Snorlax, who for now, we're putting in the box. I want to save this guy until the time is right. Right now, we have Dolly Parton as our fat normal, and that's good enough for me. So now we're in Driftvale. Oh, baby. Land the bad Twitter memes. Gen 5 fans be like cannibalistic cultists. They're fighting, but they're on the same side. And more encounters, baby, which includes Enzorua. All you gotta do is go in this house and talk to this old guy. I think he's like Joe Rogan or whatever. I don't know. Wow, I got a Zora. But is it really a Zorua? Let's find out, chat. Yo! Okay, Miltank is heat. But why do we have like the three best bulky normals? You know, I'm like, like, it's like, you are so great, but I've had too much of you. And before getting any more encounters, we decided to take on the gym. Why did I do that? That's a good question. Hey, what's that milk tank doing in the box? What is the bro? The and he's got Kiram Black. You got the box art, Clay. I, uh, that's fine. What's with the Kiram fetishes, though? I just want to know. I just want to talk to somebody. I'm going to thunder wave the Kiram because I don't like the look of. I just, I need him out of here. Water falls off here. And how you going to do that? How you pull up the club with, with Kieran Black and Ralts? Maybe letting anybody with a cowboy hat become a gym leader nowadays is crazy. We take out the Ralts with Charge Beam from Pitbull, which also gets a special attack raise. We use Metal Claw on the slow down Kieran Black because paralysis slows down a Pokemon by 75%. Don't know if you knew that. And we're able to proc Sturgy on Onyx thanks to Water Pulse from Vanilla Ice. I meant Brendan Fraser. Oh god, I dead named him. So Clay sends out his Volbeat or whatever, and now it's just a 3v3. But class, take notes on what a bad trainer looks like, okay? This is what I never want to see you doing in the field. Clay's got a very weak Kiram and a very weak Onyx and goes for the Hyper Potion. Who does he heal? Oh my god. <laughs> I was like, no, no, but he healed the, he healed the onyx. We're chilling. And once Kieran Black goes down, so does the rest of his team, confirming our fifth gym badge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now that Clay's dead, I also killed him. I didn't just beat him. He's, he's murdered now. He's off the face of the earth. We're able to get three more encounters that we missed out on previously. This includes a Magmortar on Route 6. Yo, I'll take big Magmortar. Are you kidding me, dog? As well as a Sharpedo found in Shardstone Cave. We take these, we take these. Introducing Little Wayne and Tana Watner. Ha cha cha. And to top it all off, we just so happen to visit the Weather Institute on National Get a Free Hidden Ability Deerling Day, my favorite. That's a free encounter. They just, they just hand these out. I hope it's something epic. <laughs> all right. All right. At least we got the Moonstone. This mod's so trash, bro. This is probably the worst encounter we've ever gotten. Wiggly Tough here is a normal type, which, like, you know, definitely need more of those. And its stats are pitiful. Bro, is your report card? In my class? But then we checked its ability. You are my friend! <laughs> friend Guard is Jigglypuff's hidden ability. For what you don't know, it's really good in double and triple battles. Just think of a Pokemon like Clefairy. Like, what does this thing even do? It's unevolved. You're, like, not even at your full potential. This is more viable than Clefable in double battles. Because it can hold the item Eviolite, making it more bulky, has redirecting moves like Follow Me, and has the ability Friend Guard. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Dolly Parton. But this type of opportunity only comes once in a lifetime. So this is our epic Clefairy LARP. Everyone welcome Hungrybox and Jigglypuff to the team. I mean, this is the only micro celebrity we're counting, okay? No no YouTuber nickname, no freaking Jacksepticeye the Blaziken. All right, this is the only one. Yeah, should we just make its, it's entire shtick helping out the homies? Is that what HBox is gonna provide for us? With Friend Guard giving a 25% boost to our allies' defenses, it also has light screen. Light screen. Light screen and reflect, as well as rest for longevity. While adding Hungry Box to the team, we also decided to add Little Wayne the Magmortar. Little Wayne doesn't really have any triple battle niches besides just being a fire type, which is always nice to. Oh, wait, did he just die? I was, uh, I was grinding up the B team 
I didn't take a look at the levels. Lil Wayne's not on the team. So welcome Pitbull back onto the team. A fast support mod and another- So the only real change we have to the team is Dolly Parton's being shifted out with Hungrybox and with our new squad assembled, we go down a Relic Passage. We can just go explore Relic Passage? Hot dog! And while Relic Passage is kind of out of the way, if we go through it, we get a free Volcarona encounter. But obviously, this game's a little randomized. And the only problem is every single trainer on Relic Passage is yoked. They're doinked. They're schmoinked. They're- Bro, this man's got the triple ice! Hello? I also wanted to point out that at this point, we had Taylor Lawton on the squad just because, you know, strength, and I didn't want to teach it to anybody else. Slashes Brendan Fri- What is happening? Hold up, hold up. All right, let's reel it back. And as we know now, in this situation, someone has to die. I might have to sack Taylor Lautner. I mean, Taylor Lautner could survive. That's a shame. I wasn't really using him anyway, but- a death's a death, you know? Taylor Lautner goes down, as we expected. But then something, something a little interesting happens. And not the good kind of interesting. Okay, not Water Pulse interesting. Why I believe- He didn't reveal that the entire time. He just kept going for Slash. So I thought we were fine. We were not fine. But because Kiram's paralyzed, we're able to wrap up the fight. And we lost a pretty solid member of the squad. But hey, at least that's like the last death we're gonna face in this cave. Every person in this cave is pulling up with some jet. They're cheating. They're hacking. Brother Jenin and all their minds. I ain't going outside today. Oh, that's that friend guard, baby. That's that friend guard. I don't think friend guard would have mattered. If that's that friend guard, baby. We go to Rihanna. We go for attacks. We try our best to just chip people down. And then the Theon goes for work. Moves like Sand Tomb, Fire Spin, and Whirlpool, for those who don't know, trap the opponent in. I cannot switch out Rihanna. However, we are able to shift the Pokemon still, so we try to put it in the middle to avoid Earth Power from Garatina, but somehow, somehow! It always feels weird when your starter dies. You know? Like, we never subbed this mod off the team. We managed to get through the cave, we get back to Relic Castle, and we finally can get our Volcarona encounter. Please, we need something right now. That's like, that's like an octillery. Let's talk about species claws. Fucking species claws. Species claws is an optional rule in Nuzlocke that states if you catch a Pokemon and then encounter a Pokemon of the same evolutionary line, you can skip it and then have the next encounter be your actual encounter. So if we were to catch that Remoraid back in the desert resort, I could have used this as a token or something. Maybe go back to a previous route and then catch an encounter to substitute. But we killed that. That was the only encounter we killed. How do I describe this feeling? It's kind of like, have you ever jammed something so far up your rectum you start bleeding? It's nothing like that, but it still hurts. It hurts me right here in my heart. So this is Ben Stiller, the punished Pokemon of our run. We all shun him. No one likes him. He's a filthy Nepo baby. I'm glad we sacrificed all of those mons for an Octillery chat. I'm really happy right now and I'm doing great. Wow. I'm, I'm, I'm beaming with excitement. I'm practically jizzing with glee. Ben Stiller seems like an okay guy. I don't... I don't hate him, but this, this Ben Stiller is punished. And now this run's looking like the current state of the American education system. Hot garbage! We lost some heaters, some bonds that I felt attached to, and a lot of them were sacrificed for Ben Stiller. So it's time that we pull out the big guns. Or should I say the biggie guns? Super Nintendo Sega Genesis. I think it's time for Snorlax to unleash the beast. It's time to unleash the beast, chat. I'm sorry. Biggie Smalls, famous New York rapper in the 90s, has no real special niches in triple battles. He is just a godly Pokemon to have in Nuzlocke. Super tanky, only really dies to physical fighting type hits, and has amazing coverage to take down his opponents. And now with our new god squad, we have Ed Helms, Sinatra, Pitbull, Biggie Smalls, D Hungrybox, D me, and Brendan Fraser, our god king. We can invade the Team Plasma pirate ship. Yar. Team Plasma in this game's whack. You feel like Getsis was like, oh, fuck it, it's a tax write-off. Like, why? Why pirates? But of course, when we hop on the ship, our little friend Sharon forces us to do another double battle. Ew, double battle, cringe, chat, cringe. And then a funny little thing happens when we do so. You are a gym leader, Sharon. You should know that the funny absorb move... People that enjoy double battles are the type that go to the doctors and be like, where's my prostate exam? Well, you're not gonna fondle my balls a little bit? And the double battle was so bad, so cringe, it crashed the game.
So I go back on the boat. I try again. Uh, why are they, why are they... You know, let's just, let's just skip this part. Oh, boo-hoo. I'm gonna skip the pirate ship. Whatever. I, I don't care anymore. Just move on. And now we try to progress and go towards Charlestone Cave, but not without Sharon interrupting us first. This is what I look like when Sharon interrupts us. Never mind, Sharon's the goat. He truly is the virginity thief. Now that we have access to Surf, we get three more encounters. This HM saves the run. Basically, what just happened is we just got off the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild. Um, we have a lot to do. First stop on our surfing conquest is Mistralton Cave. This is where we get a new encounter. He can have lightning rod. He can have a lightning rod. Holy moly, holy moly, moly. He's the fucking unit. The unit. The unit. It's the unit. That's the unit. Do you know what this means? Do you know what this means? He's just good. He can evolve into Rhyperior, but on top of that, if we don't get Rhyperior, this monk can still rock an Eviolite and be tanky as hell. I'm getting a triple-double in the first fucking 10 minutes of the game, bro! Has lightning rod in conjunction with the storm drain. Oh. 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 And he got arrested during season five of Jersey Short. It's the unit. I don't mean to sound facetious, but my dick feels like a fucking prosthetic leg. Next stop on our amazing surfing conquest, we head back to our hometown where we got our original starters. Why must the good die young? And we get our encounter in this little pond here. Gas. Absolute gas. You kidding me? It just doesn't stop. It just doesn't stop. Welcome Paramore the Star Raptor. <laughs> it's the best day of my life. Not only is it a flying type and a very powerful one, we already know why they're great. It gets the ability to intimidate, which is just good in any format, but in triple battles, in triple battles, you leave with this mod, put it in the center, and right off the gate, all three opposing Pokemon will have lowered attack right off the bat. Uh, <laughs> Did anyone die? No. On the contrary, we just started living. We just started living. And the party doesn't stop here. We can finally go back to Verbang City because we never actually got an encounter there. We got one in Verbang Complex, but not inside the city. Look! It's mid! Resmont's so bad. The proud Pokemon? Proud of what? But if I was this thing, I would not be proud of anything. I'd be miserable. I mean, it's whatever. You can't win them all, right? Like, but there is one more secret encounter we tried that most people don't know about. All right, chat, let's get our, our tree encounter and we should be on our way. I don't think we can get an encounter here. Did you know that in Pokestar Studios, you can surf on this tree? Go tell this to all your friends. You'll be the most fun person at a party, I promise you. I call this fun fact the babe getter. You guys didn't know you can surf on that tree? Yeah, it's a glitch. And the squad is looking absolutely immaculate at this point in the run. It's going great. And as if it could get any better, while exploring with Stralton Cave, we find the TM for Rock Slide. Rock Slide? Oh, this was worth it. A 75 base power rock type move that hits multiple targets and has a chance to flinch. Hmm, I wonder who we're giving this move to. The unit, the unit, the unit, the unit, the unit, the unit. Oh, this is bad. All right, I don't know if this is gonna kill, but we ball. It's the unit. Come on. Jesus, okay. All right, never mind. The unit, the unit. He is the god. The unit, the unit, the unit. And with our pack of ravenous beasts, we decimate everyone in Chargestone Cave until we finally reach Miss Stralton City. You haven't tried anal? Fuck it, dude, it's April Fools. If it's bad, just say April Fools. Once we reach this city, we get a Master Ball or something. Uh, who cares? That's a dumb item. And then following receiving the Master Ball, we go up north to get a new encounter. Is this a double battle? Wow, what a great and fun encounter from this pocket monster game. So we place the academy in the box. They don't respect animation as an art form, let's be honest. And we make our way to the sixth gym. Uh, let's see what we got. <laughs> It was an absolute joke. She didn't have a single threat, and we absolutely steamrolled her entire team. Finally, one gym leader where we could just click buttons. I don't have to explain anything. And right now, the run is looking beautiful. We have a phenomenal squad. We're entering the late game, and we get one more encounter in Celestial Tower? Are you kidding me, bro? What? Here we are in Celestial Tower, home of ghosts and babes. Yes. I want everyone to welcome DJ Cal of the Eevee. Now, Eevee is the ultimate backup. It has six different evolutions. That's it. Six. I'm not missing a single one. And there's only six. What a weird... What a... Wow. And I do have an evolution in mind at this point in the run, but I'm not going to spoil it just yet. But for now, there's a very powerful Pokemon that we placed in the PC. After scooping up DJ Cal, we head back to Mistralton to hop on an airplane to enter the late game of this run. This is your captain speaking. Make sure to... I don't know. Do something, man. Don't jump out of the plane. That'd be, that'd be cringe. 
Not a good look. The funny juices just aren't fumbling today, you know what I'm saying? Now, when we land, we're immediately greeted by two new encounters. One at Reversal Mountain. Wow. Oh, oh golly. <laughs> the options are insane. Yeah, we're not nicknaming his mom, we're just running it. And we get another lovely encounter at the strange house. Strange house. Let's see if we can find a strange encounter. You think I'm gonna catch this worm? He's banned. I do not fuck with the broken legendaries, okay? I'm tired of them, I'm sick of them, they're arrogant. You're not seeing no Rayquaza, no Ho-Oh, no the out none of that. No disgusting. In actuality, I just think they're still broken and I don't I don't have fun using them. So we call this Don Claws, okay? We skip over the legendary and we get our second encounter for the route. I'll take the Rayquaza. I will take the Rayquaza. Oh, how delicious in the box it'll be! With those phenomenal encounters out of the way, we go through Reversal Mountain with Bianca by our side. Yeah, I bet you didn't know I'm an animator too. Look at her go. Look at him go. Woo! Then we go through the mountain enjoying the music, battling some trainers, and just enjoying our tea. <laughs> yes, there goes the unit. Yeah, that was an L. I'll take responsibility for that. I'll take responsibility for that. We love the unit. All I had to do was literally anything but that. You know, I could have switched out. There were so many ways to preserve my boy. And I blew it. Because I was, you know, I wasn't, you know. I'm upset, but it's like, we just got to live with the mistakes that we make, you know. No use crying about it. That's not what the unit would have wanted. We finally get through Reversal Mountain. We say goodbye to Bonka, And we reach a pretty important town. Let's have a moment. Let's have a moment, chat. This is one of my favorite songs. This is probably my favorite song of all Pokemon right here. I used to listen to this song while doing homework late at night, so it just kind of... It just kind of hits a certain note, you know? And while I was listening to that certain note, I decided to enact on a plan that I've had in the back pocket for quite a while now. I didn't want to have to do this. I didn't want to have to do this. Now, it's time. I have a, uh, a delicious strategy for you gamers. We'll call it delicious. We'll call it delicious. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. We've had this plan in motion since Celestial Tower. I introduced to you my most ingenious creation, the Surf Strats. Water Absorb with Surf and Storm Drain Luminion also with Surf. We can have a team of water types that just spam Surf. Surf is a move that hits all surrounding Pokemon, even teammates. Just healing each other and Storm Drain boosting each other. That's the tech. We get what? We get a Jellicent. We get somebody else, and it's money. Holy shit. He really the Don, folks. Bro, I told you, that's kind of hot. And fun fact, you know Gigi Khaled doesn't make any music? He doesn't do anything. He doesn't produce. He doesn't perform. He, he does nothing. He's just, he's just a guy with friends. Uh, I'm also now realizing that I probably shouldn't have done this because we could have gotten other encounters. We have so many encounters to get, so maybe that was honestly not a throw. I'm not calling that a throw because I fucking, I wanted this bitch. And speaking of those new encounters, let's see what IntelliTown brings us right now. You can never replace the unit. But this is pretty friggin' good. I just like Torterra, man. I don't know what to tell you. I love this guy. However, while we do find a spanking replacement for the unit, I realize we never actually had the chance to mourn his loss. Now we can we can sit and lament. We can sit and lament our loss. And sitting here, listening to the smooth and calming notes of Indelatown made me realize that we've definitely entered the late game. Which is pretty important for a couple reasons. Zekrom's pulling up with his two chicks. That's crazy. No, not the nasty plot. Dog, you gotta be kidding me. Now, in a regular Nuzlocke or hardcore Nuzlocke run, as you can see, as the game goes on, it actually gets a little bit easier. This is because if you're playing correctly, you should be racking up on more encounters that you can use against gyms. All right, Dark Pulse. That can hit from anywhere. All right, Biggie eats that up like a fucking champ. Look at Biggie Smalls. Oh, that hits... Now, in a randomized Nuzlocke, Mr. Worldwide, it's kind of weird because it's randomized, but it should be getting more difficult as you go on. That's because most randomizers don't include TM moves on opponent Pokemon. Like, no. Hmm. I don't know if I can answer that. So, a level 8 Terrakion sure looks scary, but his moveset is terrible. When compared to a level 43 Terrakion, who has phenomenal moves. I'm slowing it down. We have three very powerful birds on screen right now. But in a triple battle randomizer, hardcore Nuzlocke extravaganza, I'd... <laughs> Yeah! Endeavor. Okay, the fact that he hit Luminion is very good, unless, unless Rayquaza goes for a flying type move right here. Actually, that could be really bad. If he goes for, if he goes for a flying type... What was I actually supposed to do? Endeavor? 
Okay, so Archaeops has an ability called Defeatist, where if it's hurt enough past half HP, its attack and speed are cut in half. So therefore, the way to manage it is to get it past half health, but we were, we were punished. Endeavor into Air Slash? What kind of place is this? Maybe triple battles do kind of suck. I'm not even... Like, that was just like, what do you freaking... What do you, what do you do? <laughs> what the fuck? Things are satisfying in life where you get predicted outcomes that make sense, right? Like, I did X, therefore Y happened. That's satisfaction. I'm gonna throw up, Chip. This is, this is a rough time. This is a rough time. But in this format, it's just so much bullshit. <laughs> the endeavor. <laughs> The Endeavor into Air Slash. We have entered the Punished Arc. The unit, Brennan, Fraser, and Pitbull, the OG members of our God Squad, died within like an hour of one another. It's not looking too good. Here's the plan. Fuck Double Battle Grass. Fuck everything. We're reconstructing. We're reconstructing everything. We're winning this for Brendan fucking Fraser, dog. I'm not playing around anymore. I'm not playing around anymore. Reaching on Della Town has opened up four new encounters. So maybe we can get some. Bro, I'm not even- I'm not even showing you, like, this is- this is what we got. We got ass? Good, but we already have Sinatra, so it's like, what? A ball? And that thing! So for now, we add some classics back to the team. We will grind them up. We will become the strongest team in the world! For the sake of the art! So the plan at this point was fairly simple. We go back to Mistralton City and refight this breeder trainer over and over again. For those that don't know, in this game, breeders can be fought multiple times. And so we fought the same trainer over and over again. Mind you! multiple times and we were fine until no we cannot catch a break dog another goat has been added to nuzlocke heaven look at look at all these pokemon <laughs> i laugh because i don't want to cry and i did initially write him off but we're adding kevin james to the team he can still kind of use that surf spam strategy with vaporeon in the middle and he has stabbed blizzard now blizzard is a move that doesn't get used that much but in triple battles i think it's pretty good sure it has 70 percent accuracy but it's a 110 stab base power move that has a chance to hit every single opponent and that's pretty good and also it's got a rocket pair of tits we take those we finally reach Lacanos to town the terrible happenings around andela they're finally over we can chill you know we're progressing because milf woman and daisy from mario's here we head west we find michael who wants to double battle skip and we head even more westward to find our next encounter encounter time i'm a, I'm a closeted meganium supporter i gotta be honest i didn't make a slide for him but that's rick ross and meganium he's in the box and then we move to this place village bridge and here after all the stress and worrying we decided to just take it easy <laughs> run back and forth this place fucking rocks dude this is like my new smoke spot bro are you kidding me the zen here isn't absurd slow things down a little bit you know relax so we just stroll around listen to the music talk to the locals get a new encounter Dude, what the fuck is this? I mean, it, it can learn any... Put it in the box. And next route, something really important happens. We battle this woman. Oh, whoa, 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 okay, okay, okay. All right, we got some gamers on my screen right now. Oh my God. Now it's two very scary Pokemon, Landorus Eye and Salamence, but we have a new savior that can kill both of them very easily. Big Blizzard, Big Blizzard Bazinga, baby. That's the full name of it. Kevin James, welcome to the team, you beautiful boy. Wait, did I just click surf? Oh my god, I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. I'm a fucking idiot. That hits- that hits Paramore! Paramore's gonna live, though. Yeah, we're fine. That was the dumbest. <laughs> Bro. Ooh. This Kevin James guy's a little crazy. But wow, what a close one. Am I right, gamers? I wouldn't want to fight her again. So we click the funny blizzard button again for the 15 million times! And then proceed to the end of the route to find Verizion. That's a shaman. Oh, we're so fucking bad, baby. It's a wrap. It's a wrap. I'm finna catch the wink, 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 wink. And look, I know what you idiots are thinking, you morons. The shaman's a legendary. Shut the fuck up. Yes, it's a legendary, but I argue it's a very balanced one. Pure Grass is a stinky typing, it gets no crazy setup options, and while base 100 across the board is pretty good, it doesn't really have anything valuable in the triple battle meta. Like all these Pokemon listed here, legendary or not, I would consider them better than Shaman in this format. Now, with all that being said, here's why it's really good. Danny DeVito, our Joe Pesci replacement, our fat grass type on the team. We've had a lot of them. Joe Pesci, Green Day, and now the next one. Little sheepy sheep. Got Shaman, can't wait to add him to the squad. 
What the fuck? We were already- And on top of that, we still get a regular encounter in Route 11. All right, encounter for this area. Oh my god, that is so poetic. Bro, it's ASAP Rocky. It's ASAP Rocky. <laughs> this is ASAP Rocky because, you know, he's the, he's the dad to Rihanna's kid. Look, they even look the same. Can you can you even tell them apart? I can't. I'm looking at the, what's the difference. Oh, we're going to put ASAP Rocky in the PC because I just love the squad that we have now. It's looking mint. But, you know, in case we lose somebody, God forbid. Is this the roar of time? Wait, no. What is happening? No. 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 So we add ASAP Rocky to the team. It hurts. Rocking a really cool mixed attacking move set using moves like Rock Slide, Earth Power, and Poison Jab. And on top of that, he gets Helping Hand. Yo, Helping Hand? That's kind of gas. As the name implies, it helps out one of your allies and gives their next attack 50% more power. So he can serve a nice support role if need be. And most importantly, he's here to avenge Rihanna. All right, he's not playing around, bro. That's his kid and his baby. Mo oh my God, was Rihanna pregnant when she died? Opa Lucid City. I believe there's no encounters here. Iris, what's up, baby? I pass on Iris, not smashing. Yeah, I pass on Iris too because she's fucking 12. So new town, you know what that means? New encounter nearby in like a close route or something. Bro, we're getting the most gas grass types in the world. So we put Joaquin Phoenix here in the PC and we grind up our Nitto King ASAP Rock. And during this grinding sesh, we established the big three. The three original members of our God Squad. Frank Sinatra, Biggie Smalls, and Param. The three cornerstones of music. <laughs> a clash of classic punk and rap. The most insane collab ever. They're putting the team on their backs right now and hopefully they will do the same in the seventh gym, which we're gonna get into right now. Ooh. This one's been coming out through, baby. He's got five mons, hit on top, Carnivine, and Garbodor. I know I use this joke a lot, but this truly is the weird kid lunch table. We managed to get two KOs extremely quickly using X Scissor and Brave Bird, but that Garbodor, that pile of trash? No way. No way. If this crits, bro! He got my heart beating for a sec there. And you see, you see the mons that he sent out, the seal and Laron. That was his last mons. Drayden, I think it's time for life alert, bro, because you have fallen off and you're having a hard time getting back up, bro. Who do you know spitting fucking bars like the Don? I'm kind of nice with my tongue. <laughs> Who says my girlfriend? Ha <laughs> ha. All right, I'm done. Last gym badge. Ah, uh, no. We have one more. And now there's a problem in Opelucid City. Hey! They froze over everything, and we gotta fight ninjas. Team Plaza lost in the first game, and then Getz was like, you know why we lost? Ninja pirates. We didn't have any ninja pirates. So we proceed to fight one of them. Team Plasma Shadow sent out Doug Trio, Octillery, and Rayquaza. So this Chuchadio pulls up with Rayquaza, a Pokemon that we have a lot of beef with. We ignored him, so he killed one of our top guys, and Octillery, the punished one. And he's got a Doug Trio. And that's... That's bad. Don't worry, my squad is super elite. Energy ball this this uh, octopus back to Splatoon. Yo, we live this. We're calm nature. We're calm nature. I mean, I told you it wasn't broken. Ha ha ha. He he. This is why chill battles fucking suck. I didn't mean it. They're fun. They're good. I like them. See, in a scenario like this, if this was a 1v1 battle, obviously, Obviously, I would switch out. But this is a different story. I'm like, what do you even do? All right, well. <sighs> it's like playing rock, paper, scissors with fucking three hands. And on top of that, you're defusing a bomb with your feet and you're filing your taxes. It's like, okay, yeah, maybe I won rock, paper, scissors with two of my hands. But now the bomb's going off and the IRS is after me. So after beating up the shadow triad, we are told to go through the marine tube and head towards Humalau City. Humalau, 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 Humalau. And as we know, Pokemon's a mental game, so we try to take our time in the marine tube and just enjoy the quieter moments. You know, engage in some small talk. What do you think is the worst way to die? And on that topic, who would you rather kill, your mother or your father? Answer quickly. I might have had some dark things on my mind. And now we've reached Humalau City. Humalau, Humalau, Humalau. And with that, we get three new encounters. One into the route south, one in the city itself, and one to the route west. Starting off with the city encounter. <laughs> Ooh, yikes, zoinks. There, there he is, guys. It's Tom Howell and the Glammy Owl. He's gonna fit right in. <laughs> Moving south, we get our next encounter. Route 21, let's see what we got. Ain't nothing like a phone, baby. John Travolta, that's it. No, it's fucking Travolta. Oh my God. Yo, timid with the dish. And we add everyone's favorite dancing Scientologist to the team and head towards the seaside cave. But we should be fine. I mean, it's not like we had bad experiences with caves in the past. Oh wait, that was a misplay. I just clicked surf. I just clicked surf. 
Oh no! Paramore! That was so. Look at the animation! Oh my god! Oh my god! And now, there's only two guys left in the OG God Squad. How will Kevin James face the murder allegations? But you know what? It wasn't his fault. Because at the end of the day, <laughs> gaming. Oh god. This still reigns true, you know? Okay, we just move, just move forward, you know? Just. Yeah, fuck you. Fuck you, slideshow! Now, with Paramore and John Travolta sadly passing, we add Rick Ross and N. Hells back on the team. Well, that. That fucking. We add Rick Ross and Billy Eilish to the team. We add Joaquin Phoenix and Billy Eilish to the team. Dude, no one calls it, dude. dude. Shut up. Shut up. Fucking triple battles. The deaths don't even feel like anything at this point. Some days you're the birds, some days you're a statue. I'm looking like... I'm not only looking like a statue right now, I'm looking like a Christopher Columbus statue right now. That's how bad of a statue I am right now. So we add Billie Eilish to the team, primarily to be a fighting resist. She's also adamant nature, which, you know, isn't the best for a Gothitel. Has support moves like Reflect, Thunder Wave, it can hit with Psy Shock, and it's just a weirdo. I don't know. All right, we, we can get an encounter here, which is kind of nifty. And you know what? I'm going for the double grass, baby. Also, Joaquin Phoenix... Another weirdo. All right, let's see what we get. 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 That's a spicy meat the bowl. This is Crazy Frog, the Electivire, my favorite celebrity. He ain't even a frog. I think that's why. That's what makes it funny. Or we'll put him in the box for now because I like our squad. But let's be honest, with this track record, we're definitely gonna need him. Yeah, but you know what? It's gym time. With all that out of the way, we have finally gained the confidence to take on this guy. What's his name again? His name's his name's Marlon. You know he's not actually black. Look at his feet. He's actually he just has a tan. Which as someone with a melanin deficiency, I can tell you firsthand that someone that white does not get that tan. This guy's a fraud. And I say we take him out. Yo, my boy jumped in. Aridos hunt tail and it's a wrap. It's a wrap. Cut. Cut it. Cut it. We're done. Little do I know that we're not actually done, because some of these guys pose a bit of a threat. A Funnily enough, even though he sent out these goobers, ASAP Rocky don't fuck with him like this. A threat, excuse me, a threat. We're going out to our, our young boy, Kevin James. He is the easiest clap ever. Charge beam to get that nice, nice special attack up. He goes for the Hydro Pump. That would have been the most gooped Nidoking King we've ever seen in our entire life. That boy would have looked like, like mushed Play-Doh by the end of this fight. And the other guys' his hits, they don't really matter that much. I mean, it's a Cubone and an Ariados. Like, it's a baby orphan and a spider. Like, what are they gonna do, bro? I smush both of those things all the time. This guy doing a pussy lock, bro. He can see how fast he makes me cringe. He's speed running. We managed to take out Hundale, but then the spider and the child go into my Kevin James. Do not. That's my boy Kevin James, baby. But he lives because he's a god. And then this guy sends out a bell sprout. Don stocks were just dipping, but now the bubble's going up, bro, after that dub. Okay, we redeemed ourselves a little bit, got our eighth gym badge, and I feel like I'm, like, out of my head a little bit, as they say. So we decided to take our time and explore Humalao City for a bit. Humalao, Humalao, Humalao. Would you walk with my dear Mienfu? Wait, what? Yeah! This is the best walk he ever been on in his life. Is this just them flexing that this could have been possible? Like, is this just them spitting on all the heart gold soul silver fans? I think it is, bro. Wow, that was such a good time. Shit! Holy f- And then we get to route 22. We start to progress, move towards the giant chasm, but I start to reflect on the run a little bit. Our team right now is- it's good? But it's looking, it's just lame because we're not really enacting in like sick triple battle strategies how we were in the beginning of this run. And it makes me sad. And trying to survive this Nuzlocke and get out of my own head, I forgot what I came here to do. To teach you guys that triple battles, you know, can be kind of cool. So yeah, we're winning, but like, at what cost, you know? It, it feels like we fall off the path, except I'm like, well, hello, Mr. Man. Oh my God, I forgot. It's Terrakion. See, he's right there. We're done with the day. Yo, the goat? That's my guy. Welcome, Young Thug the Scrappy. I loved our squad, but we gotta add this guy. He's my goat. And he kind of speaks English. I'm on top of the man, put him clown. On top of that encounter, we go to the giant chasm and get another one. Another one. Ooh, DJ Khaled. Ooh. Hey, look at me. I'm a hexerist. 
<laughs> Yo, 97 speed, 147 attack. My guy. We got fucking Tony Sirico to Xeris. Or is it Tony Serico? I don't know. Oh my god. And he's got that D dance. Big hacks. Quit playing with me. Bro, look at this freaking team. This is like an epic 10 year old team. We're balling right now. Granted, we're not necessarily doing any more triple battle tactics with this squad, but like, I love these guys. It's gonna be hype. And I know the perfect place to test them out. Yar. <laughs> Ahoy, mateys. We are going on a pirate ship adventure. A heavy gangplank fell with a solid thud. Don't you hate when that happens, bro? Bro, I was walking out my apartment the other day. Arg, we'd be sailing to steal some booty. Bro, I don't gotta steal booty because the booty just comes to me. Actually, excuse me. I hate this place. They always make you do friggin' double battles. No. No, I'm not ready. I'm not ready. I swear to God, if it fucking freezes. If it fucking... You know, they are proving themselves as villains. I'll give them that. So we go through, we skip the double battle, and we proceed to take on all the plasma grunts on the ship. Yo, speaking of bad Pokemon, Deoxys. That mon's pussy. That mon's giving me zero problems this entire run, bro. Deoxys Psychic, this shit gonna do no damage. What did I say? Why does Deoxys keep doing nothing? Real talk, I fought so many of these mons, none of them have put a dent in the team. After beating the crap out of everybody with Young Thug and Kevin James, we make it to the chamber where they hold Kiram. Now, the problem with this place is we gotta do another double battle. They really love doing this to me! Now, because double battles have always gave us a history of crashing, I decided to lead Young Thug, speed up, and just plow through the battle. Now, the problem with that is, we just keep spamming Drain Punch and we're, we're fine. This is why I like Scrafty. Drain Punch is, uh, never mind. Never mind, he's dead. Okay, well, that counts, and that's upsetting. I, I hope it doesn't freeze now. I hope it doesn't freeze now. I I hope it doesn't You know what I hate about double battles Besides the fact that they're fucking double battles Is it didn't even crash the one time I wanted it to I hope it doesn't freeze now Like I'm I'm forget forget about the I'm done Chat, I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, which is rare for me, I know. And I know I make that joke every time I say I've been doing a lot of thinking lately, but hear me out. Look at this. Everyone that's died. Th this is so many, the, the PowerPoint's lagging. When have you seen PowerPoint lag? Where it's chill battles only, it's been a while. We've seen a lot of good Pokemon die. And I realized that wanting to prove that triple battles are good and wanting to survive has to go hand in hand. We need to have a strategy. We need to be careful, but we're also in triple battles house, but we're acting like we're in single battles apartment. We've, we've had our fun. We've done the song and dance. And this served as the ultimate reminder of why I went on this journey. Ironically, it happened during a double battle, you know, but it's time to have fun with triple battles and to stunt on these hoes. Where is Rockslide? There he is, big boys. Oh, big boys. Introducing our brand new strategy. Is this just the Rockslide core? Is that what we're doing? The Rockslide core. This shit's going fucking lit. Our little strategy called Rockslide Spam. As we establish the move that hits all allies and has a 30% chance to flinch. Now, if our entire team goes for Rockslide and moves first, Let's get it going, baby. Triple rock slide. It's rocks coming from everywhere, baby. My goat. My goat. It's rock slide at the clock. It's rock slide at clock, baby. Assuming every hit lands, we're looking at a 51% chance to flinch on the left and right guys and a 66% chance to flinch the middle guy. Look at that shit. This strat's kind of uh, epic and cool. I know I don't say those things very often, but uh, now granted, we have a lot of slow bonds using rock slides, but I'm still clicking that button. This brings us to our replacement for Young Thug. We have Crazy Frog, the Electivire. Every mon on our team besides Sinatra is able to use rock slide and they will be sliding those rocks. Don't you worry. It's raining rocks. Hallelujah. It's raining rocks. And now we have to evade the galactic fuck. And now we have to invade the plasma pirate ship again. And here's what I plan on doing to them. The forecast just came in, and it's raining rocks, baby. In the most literal sense, the most oonga boonga ass strat I have ever enacted, and you know what? I'm having the time of my life. So we chuck rocks at everybody on the ship until we finally face J. Cole Ress. Cole World. Respect women. They don't talk about this team enough, bro. Street and he's got the Genesect! So we're gonna do what we do. And then comes in this idiot. Grovile? You get your mystery dungeon team ass out of here, bro, with the air balloon. Stop. It's a Grovile with air balloon. What can he do? What can he do? He's not even evolved. Oh my god! I did not know Bullhead Leaf Storm. So 
the battle wages on. We managed to take out Genesec using Earth Power from ASAP Rocky, and the Nidorino goes for Flatter into our Crazy Frog. All right, this needs to end. Now, he sends out a Krabby and an Elekid, which doesn't seem too bad, but Krabby's got like a hundred something attack. So we managed to switch out ASAP Rocky and go into Biggie. A play that I think's pretty decent, right? What is happening? It's a Krabby! Now we're looking terrible. Most of the team is in range of being killed. Crazy Frog's over here confused, and we're dying to a bunch of preschoolers. Look at this squad. So we decide to switch out Biggie and go into ASAP Rocky, and we have to rely on Crazy Frog killing Grovile and not hurting itself in confusion. We have to kill with Fire Punch. We have to. I've hit myself three times in confusion. <gasps> Please, let's go! Oh my god! And we're able to kill the last two preschoolers and defeat Jake Coress. But at the end of the day, I should have assessed the threat of grow wild better even though it was unevolved still a stab grass type so replacing kevin james will be billy eilish who also has wrong slide by the way and we move forward to the back of the giant chasm to fight gets us. <laughs> oh wow it's kira hey whoa who's here to save us is it the guy from the first game whoa he's so cool no way <laughs> He flew in on his cricket tune. <laughs> and funny randomizer moment, huh, gamers? So we kill Real Youth. That was easy. Nothing there. Nothing really to report there. And it's time to take on the big man himself. Damn, he's looking old, bro. He actually. <laughs> now, fun fact about Kiram is he's weak to rock slide. <laughs> so here we unleash a brand new strategy that adds on to our rock slide spam. I'm going to set up a tailwind and then we're going to let him rip. Using move tutors, I taught the move tailwind to Sinatra. And what that does is it multiplies the speed of the entire team by two for four turns, which means we're able to get a lot more rocks off and a lot more flinch chances. That's bad. Para flinch, para flinch. <laughs> That's how it's done, baby. All right, miss. <laughs> the Don is back! And with the T-Wave support from Billy Eilish, along with the Tailwind up, we can end this battle the right way. Big rock slide, baby! Big boy, get him out of here! Get him out of here! Yo, the triple rock slide. It's time! It's time! Let the rocks fall. Gatsis is dead. I'm the Don. And after that battle, we get to experience a nice heartwarming talk between father and son. Pokemon are not tools, dad. Victory Road. It's just that, the Elite Four, and we're done. And we get the last two encounters of the entire run. But for one of them, I want to get to the Double Battlegrounds. So I go through the route and wait until we get that encounter. And we're cruising through this place. We're bodying everybody and everything's okay until I remember that Victory Road is technically a cave. Oh, come on, you motherfucker. All right, we just got to pray he doesn't go for counter. Help a can Biggie and then crunch. And now, it's just one more left. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. That, uh, the Snorlax shit kind of messed me up. Like, that was Biggie. That was our guy, you know? But you know what? We still get two great encounters, so maybe... Because we can't find a replacement in the grass! Time to welcome back an old favorite. It's her time. It's her time. And it's the same Dolly Parton you all know and love with Fake Out, Return, Crunch, and of course, Rock Slide. Let's go. She's back. She's back and better than ever, baby. And Victory Road absolutely bodies us. There's this trainer right here who sends out triple ground types. The Sand Slash keeps setting up Swords Dance. Mind you, we have no more Grass types nor Flying types left on the team. We killed the size Seismitoad, Glaceon sent out, and now I got Tony Sirico out, and I was like, I gotta manage that threat. Glaceon can one-shot Tony Sirico, but I'm worried about the wrong mon. Earthquake! It's split, it's split damage, split damage, split damage. At this point, I just fucking... I don't know what I was supposed to do there. But at least no one else dies before the Elite Four, right? Yeah, what the fuck? Oh no. I'm getting gooped out here. These are all the available mons that we have left. Take a good look at them. Now, here are the mons that we have left that aren't trash. That's it. That is all that we have left. But we gotta figure out what we're doing here. Because right now, 
So let me introduce you to your final team. We have the four Mons that you know and love, ASAP Rocky, Dolly Parton, Billy Eilish, and Frank Sinatra. He just resists everything. Scizor is putting this entire playthrough on his back right now. But we also have two more newcomers coming into the mix. Here's what I propose. Ready for this chat? This is kind of crazy. Here, here's what I propose. Thoughts on this play. And now we have the newcomer, Matt Damon, the Escavalier. The, this is Operation Double Scissor. He's got great stats, great defenses, and powerful stab moves in the form of X Scissor and Iron Head. We also taught him Rock Smash because he, he literally can't learn like anything. And our last member to our team, we are missing a fire resist. The forsaken one himself, Ben Stiller, the Octillery. He is here not only to be a fire resist, but he's on the path to redeem himself. However, despite all of this, he's still a Nepo baby, which is a little cringe. It's finally time. The team's ready. The Super Mega Ultra team is finally here. And with that, it's time to take on the Elite Four. Ooh, scary, spooky chat. Ooh, I'm literally pissing myself. Chantal, six months, Mantine Girder Electric. <laughs> We've trained for this moment. So we take out Chantal's little bitch baby idiots with ease. No thinking required. Two down, two down. And in an act of pure brain rot, she goes out to Oddish and Rock and Roller. Oh, you love to see it, baby! But we're able to clean up this battle fairly easily until it returns. Sets up the standstorm. That's okay. That's annoying. All out attack! It's time! He can't take out all of us! This is for Biggie! We now know who shot Biggie! It's this idiot! Oh god! Oh god! Please! Please! Scald- What it- The citrus berry?! So how does this work? How does this work? How does this work? He really pulled up to one battle. One battle. That citrus mattered! And now we're in an excruciatingly rough spot. The team wasn't looking too hot as it is, but we now have five mons to take on four more trainers. The citrus berry. The citrus berry. And that was our only fire type resist. On a team that have two Pokemon that are quad weak to fire types. Ben Stiller, I'm sorry. You got, you got robbed. If I fight a fire type, the video ends. Yeah, a little bit. You'll be, it'd be crazy what screens can do. And you might count us out, but as long as we're careful and we stick to the plan, we can pull through. Or not. I mean, we can just find out, right? Lumidion! I mean, Grimsley, I knew you were a dark type champion, but this is fucked. This is fucked up. So we iron head the red giants. We beat the shit out of Mr. Mine. But the Lumidion U turns out and goes into Panseer. That's... Kind of a fire type. Uh, erm, I erm, fire type. And this Panzer is a pain in the dick. This is gonna do a little bit. He gets a crit. But we should be okay because we have Billie Eilish's light screens. Again, triple battle strategies. Parasect. Love to see that. Excellent comes out. We should kill, but you, we gotta play it safe and smart, baby. Safe and smart. And with Parasect going down, Grimsley's down to his last three mods. Never punished. Hello, Matafi. It's good to see you. Oh, we are in deep shit now. The light screen is up. Pantsier! Fucking Pantsier! Dive? Okay. And during this extremely difficult time, we enacted our final strategy on top of Rock Slide's bed. Tailwind set up! That's good. Double screens plus Tailwind. We might fight a lot of deadly opponents, but if we have light screen and reflect up and Tailwind up, light screen, watch this shit, watch this shit, chat. Reflect. All of our maybe not so powerful mons are times two speed. So now we're double screened up on a Tuesday, times two defense and times two special defense. What are you doing? Okay, okay, please. ASAP Rocky to go, bro, I swear. Psyshock, finish it off. Finish it off. All right, cool, cool, cool. That thing, not a problem. I think I'm playing pretty fucking well right now, honestly. We won. We won. This stupid little monkey. That, that thing caused more issues than Manaphy did. Whatever. Two down. I feel like I should be getting a lot more credit right now. I'm playing out my- I'm, I'm taking these, like, fucking twigs and sticks and making this shit work. Building a house out of it. Come on, bro. I want to see Carablast, Weedle, and Quillfish, Tornadus, and Loudred. <laughs> But we can make this work. Against Caitlyn, we have the perfect opportunity to start our strategy in full motion. Dally Parton fake outs Tornadus. Bah! Bro, I feel like I'm playing like Final Fantasy right now. We got our support, our tank, our fucking... Because that's obviously the biggest threat on the screen. We set up Tailwind with Sinatra. Tailwind set up though, so speed's looking nice. And then we switch out into Billie Eilish, who can then set up screens. Reflect set up. This is doing it, bro! Therefore, by turn two, we have a reflect up, a tailwind, and we kill the Tornadus. 130 attack, stab. Beautiful! Beautiful, baby! Following the fall of Tornadus, she only had really weak Pokemon like Cubone and Masquerade and Joltik. No fire types. 
No fire types. Please. We didn't start the fire. We just prayed for it to stop. Mastering. Thank God. Are you going to intimidate me? Cringe. Unnerved. Yeah, I think we just we just go all out right here. Right? So we're able to nuke her team and take down the third member of the Elite Four. Finally, easy fight, bro. Hey, I mean, we had to deal with, uh, we had to deal with motherfucking Torn at first. Get sauced. Idiot, get a haircut. And that only leaves us with Marshall and Iris. It's starting to look real. Like, we can do this. So, Rock, Feebas, and Weedle. I like to see this. And look at Marshall's team. That's awesome. All right, one down. We are eating. Then the idiot sounds out a fucking pan pour. Yeah, wrong monkey, douchebag. I mean, at one point, things were looking so smooth in this battle. Who keeps inviting this guy to the function? But... Lucky for us, this is why we pack Rock Smash. The, the Rock Smash strats are insane. We're bringing it back with the strats. We're playing. Careful, we're moving. Minus one defense. Double X scissor. You're, you're, you're cushed. Gooped and sauced. The combo. Minus one defense into the X scissor. This is just one shot. And not only are we winning... Ladies and gentlemen, I've been your Don for this evening. I'm having a good-ass time, bro. I'm in this shit. 100%. 100 million percent. Oh my god, we made it. We made it. Living on a prayer, baby. The triple battle gods. Marshall is down, and there's one more to go. There she is. All we have to do is stay careful, embrace triple battles, and have a good time. Let's run it. This is fine. This is fine. We can do this. Zekrom, our fucking rival. This thing's been a pain in my dick all this time. Now let's break this battle down real quick. Triple battles are different from doubles and singles because they include a little thing called spatial awareness. We're in this. We're fine. We're fine. Get some good shit. Get some good shit. Decent shit. Tailwind. Coming in, baby. Coming in. If I'm bait twice, I can only attack Dustox and Cricket Tune. Only on that side. The mon in the middle can be targeted by everyone, but they can also target everybody. Reflect set up so that Steelix and Stumpfist can't do any bullshit. Double edge comes out, reflects set up. This should do nothing. Beautiful. Yeah, keep killing yourself. I mean, you probably have rock head, so it doesn't even matter. That's a crit. That's such a crit. Which already adds a layer of death. It's like you took a simple game like Pokemon and turned into freaking Fire Emblem. All right, this is bad. It Dolly Parton being low HP is kind of rough. I'm not going to lie. And then Psy Shock get rid of the Zekrom. Kind of forgot about that element, not going to lie. But in a triple battle randomizer, hardcore Nuzlocke extravaganza. I d <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Alright, 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 alright. This is rough. This is rough. We can make this out though. Fusion bolt. Alright, we have a reflect up. Everyone here is kinda tanky. You you pick the best guy. That does so The motherfucker's life orb. <laughs> please kill, please, for the mother love of God. It's starting to look real. Like we can do this. It's a 5v5. One of our mons are down for the count, but I'm always down to sack. Tailwind is gone. Are you fucking shitting me? Electivire. Why? We have a ground type. We have a ground type. I remember typing this. Thunder. Please, please. Now, don't get me wrong, Scissor is a phenomenal encounter. He's got good stats, a phenomenal typing, which in Generation 5, like, resists everything. And he's Frank Sinatra, so, like, Italian dad's level. It's a gambit. It's a gambit. Now, it is another normal type in any Nuzlocke. You want to have good type diversity. But I'd still argue this is a phenomenal encounter because it gets fake out. You gotta kill. You can only use it right when the Pokemon's sent out. But you can pick a target, make them flinch, and it always has top priority. <laughs> reflects back up. That's that's a positive to this fucking nightmare. He might be able to live this. A reflex up. A reflex up. A reflex up. Please. 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 We got as Good, but we already have Sinatra, so it's like, what? There's still hope. There's still hope. He, he's two down. He's two down. There, there's a slim chance. It's very thin. Because now it's a 3v2. So if the next two mons are ass. Oh, we're so fucking back, baby. It's a wrap. Maybe triple battles do kind of suck. I'm not even... That was literally the worst thing ever. It's a 2v2. You got the Thunder Wave off. Okay. Double edge. I think... <laughs> Can you shift ASAP to the middle? Can I? You see this button right there? It says shift. Slowbroke, you're a genius. Can I do that? I think I can. <gasps> I can. I can. I can. Oh my god. Oh my god. You've done it. You've done it. Earth power. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's... Bro, true battles are lit. I don't care what anyone says. And this sort is the ultimate reminder of why I went on this journey. To have fun with triple battles and to stunt on these hoes. I think we just power flinch. We just gotta keep getting power flitches. Now, if our entire team goes for rock slide and moves first, now you know what? We're gonna let this. We're gonna let this ride out, baby. Fuck every Wobbuffet, bro. 
Wait. Okay, this shouldn't do that much. This shouldn't do that much. This shouldn't do that much. Bro, no way. It's gonna go down to a struggle v struggle. Introducing our brand new strategy. Please, para flinch. Please. Please. Crit? Oh, no. Oh, no. <gasps> our little strategy called rock slide spam. All right, wait, 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 wait. This should kill. And they will be sliding those rocks. Don't you worry. But I'm still clicking that button that adds onto our rock slide spam. And here's what I plan on doing to them. I think I'm going for Earth Power. I think I have to do it. But as long as we're careful and we stick to the plan, we can pull through. Please. 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 ASAP Rocky. Most importantly, he's here to avenge Rihanna. It always feels weird when your starter dies. Like, we never sub this mod off the team. Rock size never let us down, Matt. You know what? You're right, Sean. I, you, when you put it like that, I did fall off the path in the end. Primary cause of any death in any Nuzlocke, regardless of type, is still carelessness. It is literally up to the final struggle. But at the end of the day, I should have assessed the threat of Grow Wild Ben. But I think we're fine, as long as I have Destiny Bond, and I blew it. Because I was, you know, I wasn't, you know. He's got five D-Bonds, right? We gotta kill with struggle. We gotta kill with struggle. Struggle, please. Please. No, no. I'm done. 